morning. The Andrea Dancing Star. I have, I think, I don't know, maybe I'm sick. Maybe I have allergies. <clears throat> Good times. I feel just a, a little bit puny, but not really, really puny. That's kind of what makes me think it might be allergies. Um, yeah, so I'm going to read cards for the astrological sign of Aquarius. You can see my face. But I still have these cards. Um, I really like these cards. So I have a lot of cards actually, but I like these rose gold cards. I enjoy them. So we're going to talk about Aquarius. We're going to talk about the astrological sign of Aquarius. That's what we're going to do. We're going to talk about the astrological sign of Aquarius. See what's going on for the astrological sign of Aquarius. Okay. So. Tower reversed. Death reversed. Wait, five of wands, six of pentacles reverse is behind that. You're re oh, so I opened up my other tarot deck and this is who just fell out right here. Um, so there's like something that you're just not really letting go of. There's something in the past that you're not letting go of. Some kind of contract was broken. It made you very sad. I mean, I'm not saying that it's something that should be, like, really easy to let go of. Because I don't think it is, obviously. Because it's not been let go of. But also, it's painful. Disruptive. Um, not fair. You were able to recover from it. But there's like this obsession. And I say obsession because the devil fell out. But there's this obsession with not letting it happen again. That's causing discord in your everyday life. It's still showing up. It's great to be very smart. You know, it's great to, to be able to see when a person is trying to, like, take advantage of you or lie to you. Um, it's not great. To be suspicious of every single person in your life. Thinking that every single person in your life is going to try to take advantage of you. That's lying to you. Because that's just not the case. It's not. It's not the case. Not everyone is trying to lie to you. Not everyone is trying to steal from you. Tell me more about how this is like playing out in Aquarius's current life. Explain to me the Five of Wands. Like, who is Aquarius fighting with? Who is Aquarius fighting with? On the bottom of the deck. 
Judgment. Fighting with the devil. Fighting with the Capricorn. I mean, doesn't that almost sound kind of like an oxymoron to say fighting with the devil? The whole time I was shuffling when I didn't say anything, I was hearing powers and principalities. So this is like not human, you know, not human entities, powers and principalities. Judgment. So quite obviously... I mean, quite obviously, it looks like the devil is passing judgment onto Aquarius. Um, but also, vice versa, it looks like Aquarius is passing judgment onto everyone else. Maybe not knowingly. It may be kind of like, um, I mean, you may have become so defensive and built yourself up in such a way, like in the fight or flight mode, survival mode, after this thing happened, that you may not even realize that you may pass judgment onto every person that tries to enter your life. He's so funny. Son of Cups is on the bottom of the deck. Son of Cups. Oh. Star Reversed is behind that. Five of Pentacles reversed fell on the ground. There's Five of Wands and the Five of Pentacles. And also the Five of Cups is underneath. The only one that's upright is the Five of Wands. So at some point down the road, someone took away your sanctuary. Someone took away your safe place, your safe haven. The place where you had nothing but love, where you had nothing but safety. The place you could run to if you were feeling in trouble. Someone stole that from you. That's fucked up. That's not right. We're not supposed to really behave that way as human beings to each other. There's a thing called common decency and respect. But you and I both know not everybody exists. With common decency and respect. So because this thing was taken from you. Because this sanctuary was ripped from you. Or even you were kicked out of it. The sadness and the grief... The sadness and the grief has caused you to just pretty much pick a fight or self-sabotage every single thing that could have happened ever since then. Every single possibility of a sanctuary being rebuilt or someone else showing up that might offer the same kind of sanctuary. 
it's like being really scared that it's going to happen again. So just ending it before it does happen again. I have like no idea what she's playing with, but it's really loud. So, because Aquarius has been hurt, and because Aquarius is suspicious of anything that resembles good, Because if they got dependent or started to rely on these any things that might be good, that good could just leave. She's playing with chapstick. That love could just leave. That good could just leave. And then it would leave Aquarius in the same spot they found themselves in the first time. So the fear of that happening is keeping Aquarius from experiencing anything really good. So the Son of Cups is here because the star is reversed. Because Aquarius, you need to forgive this situation. I mean, you may have healed from it and you may have healed yourself. You may have gone so far as to actually look at like why you allowed it to happen. Why you allowed to let something into your life that could destroy you in such a way as this situation. But you need to forgive. Maybe you need to forgive yourself for allowing it in. Maybe you need to forgive the situation itself. There's some... Healing is good. Healing is necessary. Healing is integral to growth. So is forgiveness. Until you forgive it, heal it, and forgive it, you're going to keep fighting the same thing. Now, I'm sure you're really good at fighting by now because you've been doing it for a long time. And you've gotten really strong. And Aquarius is incredibly resilient. But, I mean, aren't you kind of tired of fighting? I mean, aren't you? It doesn't always have to be a battle. Constantly. Faith is the substance of things hoped for. I mean, healing and being successful I mean, in my own personal opinion, I would think that healing and becoming successful in healing would actually include a little bit of respite, a little bit of good time, a little bit of laugh, a little bit of joy. You know, not just the stamina and the strength to keep trudging forward. Where's the reward? I feel like possibly Aquarius might be shutting down their rewards, shutting down their blessings for fear that it could leave them at some point in time. Healing. Forgiveness. Healing, forgiveness. What does the universe want to bring to Aquarius? 
What does the universe want to bring to Aquarius? Hi, Hedy Beans. Hi, Hedy Beans. The universe wants to bring Hedy Beans to you. She's a good girl. What does the universe want to bring to Aquarius? Knight of Swords Reverse, Eight of Cups. Maybe there's a Gemini that left you. Maybe there's a Gemini that lied to you. Maybe there's just a certain person. It doesn't have to be a Gemini, but maybe there's just someone who communicated some really strong messages to you that devastated you. And then they were gone. The universe wants to bring an end to all of that. That That's going to walk away. Eight of Cups. The universe wants to bring you a celebration, a good time, friends. A support system besides just yourself and your dog. Or your cat. For I know the plans I have for you. The plans to grow and prosper you. I feel like that's the book of Jeremiah. Says the Lord. Not to live like, you know, some kind of soldier. It's cool that you know how to do that and you have that skill and you can do it. It's good to be able to su survive. It's good to have those skills. But I don't think you're supposed to be a survivalist for your whole life. I don't think that was intended. So, the universe wants to bring you a good time, wants to bring you some fun, wants to bring you some laughs. Nothing crazy serious. The universe doesn't want to send someone to you that's going to pull the rug out from underneath you again. The universe wants you to heal from this. You need to heal from this. You need to forgive this. And you can, because you've done everything else up until now. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed seeing my face. Um, I enjoyed this reading. I enjoy everyone who supports my channel, supports what I do here. Um, because I think there are a few people out there that I do have messages for. And I get exhausted too, but I do keep going. And together, we can all heal each other, and it can ripple out into the world. If we can all just keep going, even if we get exhausted, even if we get discouraged. So, uh, thank you for being here very much, and I will see you in the next video.